Uh, you know, if Lena doesn't work out, you know, we can maybe do grab some coffee and, you know, have sex later. Just saying. I'd like to see you in the uh, outfit more often. In my cabin. With Olga Dimitrovena, of course. I see you found something better. She stared at my trunks and smirked. She's staring at my penis. She wants to be. As you can see. Come on, let's swim. I don't want to. He's you of all people. Maybe later. I'm, I was not a fan of swimming. Suit yourself. The girls ran into the water. Why did I come here? Why am I not looking for out for looking? Why am I not out looking for answers? Cause chicks in swimsuits, dude. Come on. Honestly, if I suddenly went back in time or got transported somewhere, instead of finding answers, I would be at the beach, looking at chicks and enjoying beach stuff. That's the beauty of Texas. I can go to the beach whenever I want. Because I am in the area where I can go to Corpus Christi in three hours, and I can come back. If I wanted to, of course. Right now, of course, wouldn't be a good time because it's probably freezing cold. Should I care about it now? So, oh god. Sov... Butcher! Sovyanuk seemed normal. Certainly a lot, a lot of strange things have happened to me during these three and a half days, but... Not one of them, taken separately, seemed all that supernatural. Especially since I didn't get any close to finding out so much as a clue. On the contrary, though. Everything that has happened has only confused me more. I'm a very confused man. What alternatives do I have? I guess... Ooh, what if this is like Assassin's Creed and you have to synchronize with your past self? I don't know, it was just a theory. I won't get any truth from the local residents. Though I doubt even they even know it. Should I try and leave this place? Should I run? There is civilization there. I could possibly find the answers if I run away. Then again, running away might not be the best idea, for I will be running away from myself. And what could be. I got deep. How far can I walk, considering that I don't even, even know where I am? Well, survival tip... Considering there's a train there, and most likely train tracks, if you just follow the train tracks, you're bound to eventually find a society. Just saying. Turns out that my only option is to wait. Ooh, hello ladies. Well, lady and you. After some time, the girls come back. Well, Yana held something in her hands. Uh, look! I looked up and saw a crayfish. That's the normal crayfish. Ooh, ass! Look at the f- <laughs> It took me a second to re <laughs> Look at that face! But look at that booty! But look at that face! But- She. Got. The. Booty! I'm talking about Slavia, not Ulyana. You know what, I'm never gonna go any further without what I was gonna say. <laughs> Well, Yana lay next to me and started to torment it. Leave the poor animal alone, you savage. Why? It's just a crayfish. So what? It has a right to live too. Oh, pff, whoa! Well, okay, I, I have to admit with her reasoning, if you're going to do something like that, you better cook it and eat it. But other than that, bad. You know what, I'm, I'm going to... Save real quick, just because. Okay. As if we had nothing else to eat. I looked at Elisa. Or her ass. She seemed to be totally uninterested in Ilyana's fun with the poor sea creature. Although I'm... <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I'm not really paying attention to the sea creature either. I'm paying attention to something else. Tell her. What's wrong? It's crayfish. It deserves it. It didn't hurt anyone. It looked like the girls missing their lesson in on nature in primary school and lacked empathy for the environment. Give it. Give it. God damn it, Oliana. I snatched a crayfish off Oliana. Oh great, now you made her sad. Suit yourself. I was a little surprised she didn't resist. I, I looked into the eyes of the poor animal. Wait, wait, wait. 
eyes of the poor animal. Good God. They didn't express anything at all, but I thought it, if it could speak, it would certainly be outraged. Maybe it would even go to the UN Convention of Human Rights. To tell the truth, I wasn't sure that would have helped. I took the crayfish to the river and set it free. You lying fucks, you said this was a beach, not a river. Never mind, I'll catch more. There are plenty of them here. Santa Yana? No doubt about it. I mumbled. Yeah. Time passed and I was getting slammed. Ooh, you know, I just had a thought, Oyana. We can work together. So, you see Slavia uh, sunbathing over there? You know, I, I'd be able to pay you s some good dough if you, um, you know, just happen to set one of those crayfish down and have it um, snap her top. You know, just saying. And, you know, just... It was just a suggestion. Time passed and I was getting sleepy. I fell asleep. I don't remember what I was dr Oh god, oh god, this is gonna like do some bad shit to us. Like, like we're gonna wake up with a bunch of crayfish just gripping us and pinching our penis or something like that. She's gonna fucking rape us in her sleep. I don't remember what I was dreaming about, if I was dreaming at all, but I woke up when... Someone shook my shoulder. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Hell! Wow. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hello! Bo Hello, boobs. Uh, Olga and Rich Ravenna. Hello. She stood next to me. Did you come to swim too? I asked, still half asleep. What was there a voice again? No. It's almost time for lunch and we still can't find Shudik. Maybe he drowned. The leader said before standing before me in a wet swimsuit. So wait. Let me get this straight. You were worried about Shudik being missing. So, instead of going out and looking for him, you got changed too and went swimming with us. Is that correct? This is what I'm getting at. And I'm totally focused on your face and nothing else. I can't swear on that, though. And? I want you to look for him. Why me? What did I do? Seems like I'm the only pioneer of this entire camp. I was sincerely outraged. I, I, I got the chance to see boobs and more boobs and girls in swimsuits and ass and more boobs and you're, you're cock-blocking me, Olga Mitrovina. That This is twice now. You're cock-blocking me. But then again, you're giving me an eyeful. You gave me an eyeful before, and I thank you for that. But you gotta stop the cock-blocking, okay? Can't give a guy blue balls. That's just... That, that's... It's, just, it's rude, really. Every time I was getting clear... Or, well, okay, I, sh I should specify... You know, consent and everything. If you know, you just happen to be in that situation with a guy, and you are a guy. If she says no, it's no. Don't push it any further. Don't force yourself. If she says no, leave it. So I had to get that out there. Every time it was getting clear that Olga Mitrovena was not only cock-blocking me, but considered me her errand boy to be used like a slave. Or vice versa. If I came to you, then I want you to help me. Why exactly me? Okay? What's her name? Ol Olyana? What was her name? What's her name? She is a good pioneer. She would be better fitted for this job than me. I just don't want to leave. However, after giving it some thought, I decide to agree. As long as she stays in that swimsuit. As long as I get to see that swimsuit later. After all, my shoulders and back on sunburned while I was sleeping and searching for Shurdik would let me get acquainted with unexplored locations of the camp. Okay. It's not exactly right to wander around wearing only swimsuit trunks, so I should get changed first. Dot dot dot. 
Ten minutes later, I stood outside Golden Mitrovina's cabin, deciding where to go. Oh. Hmm. That's a good question. Why don't we save first? All right. Um, let's see. <laughs> um... Where is Lena, actually? She's over there. Oh, we can... Ooh. I wonder if this is like before, where we can go to the different places. Let's try this room first. Oh, <laughs> this is back at the cabin. But it's still a stupid idea. If Shurdick was hiding anywhere in the camp, he would have been found by now. Of course, assuming he wants to be found. So I can hardly, I hardly think I can help them. Together with this, though, I answered the cabin and stretched myself on the bed. Nothing good will happen if Volko Dimitrovina finds me here. Stop, enough. Am I just some terrible creature or do I have rights? I didn't want to do anything anyway. The day was just as hot as the previous ones and the only thing to do was to stay in bed and wait for lunch. Or we could go back to the beach and see girls in swimsuits. Just saying. I was just falling asleep when somebody knocked on the door. <laughs> sure. Come on. So, um, Slavia. Oh, her name was Slavia. Whoops. That's right. Oliana was the little girl. Oh, uh, we don't want to. We don't want to touch that with a ten-foot pole. Slavia stood on the doorstep. Oh gosh, her voice was very similar to Olga Mitrovina, and I don't know how I did it. Fuck it. Is Olga Dimitrovna... Uh, English. Olga Dimitrovna isn't here, is she? No. And what are you doing? <laughs> Looking for someone. She asked with suspicion. I looked over myself lying on the bed and said, Lying down. I can see that. You know, no fucking blah. But I heard Olga Dimitrovna ask you to find Shudik. <laughs> well, you see, uh... <laughs> and... What's the point? I'm sure she already turned the whole camp upside down. Not much time has passed. Why should we panic? You know, this is... <laughs> what if he goes, This isn't even real. Get shot. Ow, it fucking hurts! It's not a dream after all. You know, stuff could happen. Like, butt stuff. I don't know where that came from. Slavia looked at me thoughtfully. Get up. Well, I have to. I was so worn out that even the thought of going somewhere frightened me. Yes, you do. Slavia is another person who I would ever say no to. She's just so gosh darn pretty and I like her. I couldn't say no to her. I stood up look She's so nice too. I couldn't say no to her. I'm sorry, Slavia. Please, I'll, I'll do anything. I stood up reluctantly and went out of the cabin with her. We stood at the doorway for some time, relaxing in the beams of the summer sun. Though I was rather frying, and I'm surprised I didn't see you in your swim... Wait, did I see you in your swimsuit before? I think I did? Bless you, Bolshevik. If my memory serves me correct, we have seen her in her swimsuit once. Oh fuck, I don't remember. Where shall we go? We have to look everywhere. Great idea. Just great. Fucking great. And we go to the library. Fucking great. Now we're gonna meet with Spitchy Pants and he's gonna yell at us for no fucking reason. Just cause we didn't meet her that one time. No fucking great. The first stop on our route was the library. Slavia went to Zanya sitting at the table and spoke to her. I just stood in the doorway. I didn't want to communicate with this librarian any more than necessary. A few minutes later, Slavia came back to me. So? Nothing. She shook her head. As expected. Dot to dot. Can you be any more? Can you feed any more? To the amount of lines I have to read. <laughs> 